everyone. Today we're going to make some Equip protein powder bread. I'm Anita from ketogenicwoman.com where I share keto and carnivore recipes and other cooking ideas that have helped me to lose 145 pounds. If you're new here, welcome. I hope you check out some of my other videos and for those of you returning viewers, welcome back. I hope you like today's video. It's been a long time since you've seen Big Red in action here uh, and today's the day. So recently I ordered myself some Equip protein powder. It is very clean and that's why I wanted to have a look at it. Uh, I don't generally use protein powders uh, anymore. I haven't been making the bread. I've had people asking me, why haven't you been making any bread or buns lately? Um, are you not eating it? Do you not recommend it? No, that's not the case at all. Uh, a big factor is the price of the uh, egg white powder. It has, I'm in Canada, so at the best of times, these things are hard to get for a decent price. Price is out of control. <laughs> um, and so I only have like a little bit left and I've been conserving it. Um, but that said, I did want to uh, get some protein powder for people who are asking me, how can I increase protein in my diet? I'm not getting enough protein. You seem to eat a lot of protein. It seems to be working for you. And I recently saw a video with Dr. the Doctors Eads. They did a book back in the 90s, which I actually uh, owned back then called Protein Power. And they talked about us older folks not getting enough protein. And, and, and that is true. I don't think many of us uh, get enough protein in our diets. I get emails from people all the time saying, I can't eat enough meat or you know whole foods to get the amount of protein in that I'm supposed to get. Can I use a protein powder? Dr. Eads, both of them, uh, said that uh, you can. They prefer meat uh, as the first choice, uh, and I agree with that. I will probably still continue to focus on meat. This isn't me, you know, now going to protein powder because I really do like the meat and I think it's the best thing to eat. But if you are a lady who's say in your 60s, 70s, 80s, and, and I have a lot of you out there following me and emailing me asking me, how can I get more protein without eating that much meat? Because I just, I, I just can't do it. Uh, they recommended a non-whey protein powder as being the best option. So uh, I knew a whole bunch of people that were using the Equip and they were, uh, you know, quite impressed with how clean it was and, and all that. So I thought, okay, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to order some and I'm going to play with it and see what I can come up with. Uh, it made some really decent waffles. Uh, that's not gonna be on this video today, but I'll probably throw that on a future what I eat in a day video. Uh, I really liked the waffles that I got out of that. That was Maria, uh, one of Maria Emmerich's recipes. So I, I'll do that at some point, but I wanted to make a bread. Uh, and this bread turned out to be very similar to my uh, BBBE bread the soft and fluffy bread that I have made in the past. Um, so I made this yesterday. And uh, so it's been sitting out for 24 hours now on the counter. But I want you to have a look at it, how soft it is and the texture. And I also want you to note, uh, there was 12 slices on this plate yesterday. Uh, the camera crew ate most of it. So there you have it. I think that's a good testimonial. <laughs> And uh, it, it turned out, it exceeded my expectations. Now, uh, it does use a little bit of the, pro, of the egg white protein powder, a small amount, and a scoop of the unflavored protein powder. I don't know if it'll work with the flavored because the flavored has an extra ingredient in it, um, which I can't remember what it is. But if you have it, give it a try, because you never know. It'll, it certainly works for, uh, you know, the waffles, I'm sure. So this bread, I kind of made it with uh, 
a tablespoon of ginger added and some vanilla powder, no sweetener. It is not a sweet bread. It is just a regular bread, but the ginger and the vanilla just really added to it. Uh, but today I'm going to make uh, an Italian seasoning bread. So I'm gonna put all this aside and uh, then I'll show you how to do it. Okay, so uh, I'm going to start by separating four eggs. Uh, I will list the ingredients below because this uh, recipe just, I made it up yesterday. Uh, so it's, it's not on my website for those of you that will ask me, um, but I, I'll list it below. Uh, but we'll start with four eggs. Oh, after I set my oven to 350 degrees Fahrenheit. Okay, I've got my yolks in the separate cup there. I do find it easier to separate the, the whites just with my hands. We are going to be beating those egg whites until stiff. Uh, I am going to also put egg white powder in there. One third of a cup egg white powder, a teaspoon of gelatin. And this is, uh, just get any beef gelatin. This one is uh, the only ingredient that you should see is pure beef gelatin. And collagen is not the same as gelatin. Now we will just beat these until they're stiff. I like to start it slow so that it mixes everything in. Okay, so that's uh, stiff peaks once it kind of holds firm like that. You should be able to turn your bowl upside down and if the egg whites don't move, uh, you're good. So in this bowl, I already put in one scoop of the unflavored Equip powder. Now on the back, because I know some of you are gonna ask me this, um, it, just in case you have your own, like a different beef protein isolate powder, uh, it says 21 grams in the scoop or 0.74 ounce. So you, you know, if your scoop size is different or whatever, you could weigh that out and get the same amount. So that's the point about this though. There's only the one ingredient in here and that is beef protein isolate. So if you're gonna um, ask me about other protein powders, uh, I've only tried this with this. So the answer will be, I, I don't know, uh, unless I've tried it. And so uh, this one is the one that, that works. So uh, just wanted to be clear about that. I'm putting in one teaspoon of baking powder, a pinch of salt. This is Redmond's fine salt. And I'm going to put in a generous amount of this. Italian seasoning. It doesn't matter what kind of Italian seasoning, uh, just make sure it doesn't have sugar and that it's clean. So there's my oven. I'm going to put in a heaping tablespoon and then just stir that together. I'm going away tomorrow, so I'm planning to take this bread with me. I think it's going to make a good thing to have with me as I'm traveling and uh, seeing people and just in case I don't have any food I could eat uh, but I don't think that'll happen okay so we have those things are going to go in here now but I just want to clear some things away so you can see what I'm doing with the Equip powder, I do have a link below in case you want to give it a try. They also have other flavors, so you could make sweet breads, uh, but I'm, you know, I'm trying to stick to the non-sweet things. And it's amazing how good the ginger flavored bread tasted without any sweetener in it at all. Your taste buds do change after a while. So the next step of making our bread here is to very slowly put in the egg yolks while this is at the lowest speed. Okay, and uh, the last step is to add the seasoning and the protein powder. Okay, I'm just going to mix this up a bit, scrape it from the sides. It smells very good with the Italian seasoning. Okay. 
I'm using a silicone loaf pan. Uh, I, this one uh, is one of my favorite ones. It doesn't need any spraying. Uh, it seems to work very well. I haven't tested this. Like I said, I, I this recipe kind of uh, evolved yesterday from my, my other soft and fluffy bread recipe that I used to make. And uh, I haven't tested it with any other type of loaf pan. So uh, I hope if you guys try it and you try it with another loaf pan that you let me know how it went. Just try to smoosh it into the corners there a bit. And then I like to put a little crease down the middle. Sometimes that works to, <laughs> to make a nice looking loaf and other times it looks like a monster. I know some of you have made some egg white breads before that turn out uh, kind of funny looking. Uh, been there, done that too. So that is uh, going to go in the oven, 350 degrees for 30 minutes. And then we're going to let it completely cool and then slice it. And that's when we will be back to see what we have. Okay, so the bread is out of the oven. Uh, it smells good. It looks a little misshapen, <laughs> like a lot of the egg white loaves can get. Uh, popped out nice though. Okay, uh, oh, before I cut it, I'm going to give you the macros. I'm going to cut this into 12 slices and each slice will be 41 calories, 0 0.9 total carbs, so less than one. Uh, fat, 1.7 grams, and protein, 5.5 grams per slice. So uh, I'm gonna cut it in half. Well, this one kind of shrunk a little bit more than my bread yesterday, and I don't know why, because everything is the same except for the seasonings. So trying to cut it into even slices, which I always fail at. So. I want to give this a taste test. Mm. <laughs> okay, so if you like the soft and fluffy BBBE bread from my website, you will like this uh, because it is very soft and fluffy inside. It does have a little bit of a crust and the dogs seem excited about it. Um, and it tastes good. Uh, you know, it's not fancy like some of the other breads out there that have all of the other ingredients. I try to keep it simple because I'm so sensitive to so many things. Uh, and uh, yeah, this is a, a way to have uh, some bread, get your protein up using some protein powder for those of you that already have the equip or if you are using another beef protein isolate powder, you can make the bread. So I hope you give it a try. Let me know what kind of tweaks or flavors you put into it, and I hope you enjoy it. Thanks for watching. That didn't come out right. I started to say a third. One third of a cup, egg white.